day 182. So today was meant to be a hiking day. Um, and I got out to the trail. Um, I did get out around one o'clock. My car read 99 degrees. Um, and that was, uh, on the drive-in. So in the sun, etc. Um, I expect it went over a hundred. Um, <laughs> Now, the hike that I normally do, as I've mentioned multiple times, is shaded for the most part, uh, and there's water sources along the way, so uh, especially when it's hot, I walk through the water sources, um, which cools down my feet. That being said, I uh, normally, at this point, can do at least one round, um, at the very least, and I did not accomplish that today. Um, I did do my uphill climb first and then I was like okay I'll do that I'll do the loop and then head back um I did not take enough water with me and at that point I probably should have taken some electrolytes too because it was so hot that within five minutes ten minutes I would stop sweating um which if you don't know is a sign that um you are dehydrated because if you're not sweating your body is not able to try to cool you down via sweat, uh, which means that you then, um, start to get heat stroke slowly. It, it takes a little longer than 10 minutes. Um, but even the shade, uh, I was feeling tired. So I got, um, about a third of the way through the loop portion of this, uh, trek. So I was already about a mile in. I did the uphill, I should have not done the uphill. I should have just done the whole loop. Um, because I think that's what kind of pushed me over the edge. Uh, because then I got about third way through and I just stopped. So, um, not that happy with myself. But, you know, I, I didn't have enough water. I ended up drinking all my water before I got back to the car. And, um, you know, I, I've been having some of the side effects of fasting a lot. Normally, I, I get these on Friday or Saturday, but the whole get up too quickly type of thing, um, move too quickly, etc., that type of stuff has kind of hit me hard um, this afternoon. And I know it's because um, I've now pretty much put out all my uh, salt and salt reserves. So that is, you know, how life goes. Um, I will still continue to work out because I need to be physically active. Um, but I did get a, a little boon today. Um, I got in my car to, to go hiking and I felt like I was too far away from the steering wheel. Um, for some clarification, I, uh, there were points in my life where, my stomach was touching the steering wheel as I was driving. Um, and now I have probably a two or three inch gap between me and the steering wheel and I, I have not moved the seat whatsoever um, from the position that I had it in at the beginning of the year. So now uh, I have to change it because I feel like I'm too far away from the steering wheel. Although that being said, my legs um, you know, are still the same length. So, I'll do a little bit of movement, but not too much. But I I found that to be a, a cool little um, addition, additional notice today, um, as with every day, because I, I do definitely notice my arms. I, I find myself looking at them a lot. Uh, same thing with my legs. They, they get uh, looked at a lot because they are smaller and thinner. Um, now I just need to work on the, the round part in the middle and the, the thighs and the triceps um, because that's where the, the lingering fat is. So 